So, we continue with Colossians chapter 2, and we're still on verse 6 and 7. When I think of growth, I think of plants, because you can see it, it can happen. That is the same thing that must happen. Persons must be able to see your growth as a Christian. Not only must it impact you, and, and you must be able to, to be able to look back and say, yes, I have grown, I have understood God more. I am able to do more. I am even able to teach now. You yourself must also impact the others, that when persons look at you, they say, oh my, that's a Christian. That's someone who loves God because of what you do, because of the, of the life that you live. Just as this, this bougainvillea, you know, you are looking at it and you are able to see, hey, it is, it is growing because of the evidence of the flowers. The evidence must be there. There must be evidence that I am growing. There, and growth is not somebody else's responsibility. Growth is my responsibility. I have to grow. It, it must be intentional. It must be something that I go after. Because growth is not going to happen just by chance or because I think so. Growth is intention. Growth is development. And for development to take place, there must be, there, I must put it in. I must put in things and I must take out things. I must every day attend to it so that my Christian life will grow. It must be daily, must be every day. And that's why we're spending time with you and we take time to do the devotions to help you to grow. And I, and I want you to, to not just depend on this and say, yes, I have my devotions, but I want you to go into those, these two verses and probably even read the whole chapter. I'm going to challenge you. Read the whole chapter and see what is God saying to me? How, what else? So that you can really develop your Christian life. Yes, that's, that's my hope and my prayer for you today. God bless you.